Egghead Island was a surprise arc that no one saw coming, and with Oda repeatedly implying that One Piece is about to end, it has most of us wondering how many more arcs can fit into the story before it finishes. And right now, it looks like we have four more arcs to go, including Egghead Island. I believe that those four arcs will be Egghead Island, Elbaf, Laugh Tale, and Marijua, with the order of those last two arcs up for debate, which we will get into later in this video. If we break down all the remaining plot points in One Piece that we can be certain need to happen, it seems like all plot points match up to those four arcs. And with Oda stating that he has reorganized his notes for the ending of One Piece to focus on all the essential beats, I think that we won't be getting any more arcs than necessary to complete the remaining setup plot points. So let's take a look at why these four arcs, Egghead Island, Elbaf, Laugh Tale, and Marijua, are likely the final storylines of One Piece. But before we get into it, make sure to subscribe and make sure to stop wasting time every day cooking when you could just get pre-prepared meals with Factor, the sponsor for this video. If you don't like cooking at all, and I mean at all, like you don't just want meals that are easy to prepare, you literally don't want to ever have to prepare anything, period, then you need to be using Factor. If you're a lazy kid in college or a very busy adult, then you don't have to keep getting fast food over and over again. Factor delivers fresh, nutritious meals straight to your door that genuinely taste good. The food Food is actually prepared by chefs and it's never frozen, so you know that you're eating right and you don't have to waste time at the grocery store or cooking for hours on end. That means no thought required, no guesswork, just tasty, healthy meals ready to go, delivered right to you. In general, Factors made it way easier for me to manage work and life since now I know that as soon as I finish a stream late at night, I have something nutritious and delicious ready to eat right away. So head to go.factor75.com slash morge60 and use code morge60 to get 60% off your first factor box. That's go.factor75.com slash morge60, code morge60 to get 60% off the first factor box. Link in the description below. So to begin with, we know that there won't be a lot of arcs left. One Piece is now in its final saga. And for the most part, sagas are about three to five arcs long. Now looking at the actual plot events that need to happen, I'm going to be very tight with the word need, since as we all know from Wano, plenty of things can be set up that ultimately get scrapped. So going forward, it's probably better to look at only the absolute most important plot points as guaranteed future events for One Piece that would need to be resolved in some storyline somewhere. And that list is honestly fairly short. For the purposes of this, I'm going to ignore the Straw Hat's dreams, since the reality is that many of these dreams can be resolved in most any arc. For example, Zoro could fight Mihawk in the final war for all we know, or maybe an encounter in Elbaf, this plot point can be dropped into most any arc. And for all we know, some of the Straw Hat's dreams may never be resolved in the main story itself, such as Nami's map of the world though I have my own theory as to how her dream would play into the main story that I talk about in this video. So in terms of main events that probably have to happen, I think it's pretty simple. Luffy needs to fight Blackbeard at some point. The Straw Hats need to get the fourth road Poneglyph. The Straw Hats absolutely have to get to Laugh Tale. They absolutely have to find the One Piece. And the Celestial Dragons need to be overthrown. I think that those are literally the only things we can say have to happen by the end of One Piece. Now, there are also some things that we can put as almost guaranteed, such as Luffy's reunion with Shanks, and also probably some moment where the world government reveals itself to the outside world as being an evil entity, perhaps beginning a great cleansing. The only reason I put this in an almost necessary category, even though it has only been explicitly brought up once, is that ultimately there would need to be some trigger for the people of the world to realize how bad the world government and the Celestial Dragons are, as at the moment, most everyone is under the impression that the world government is a just regime. And beyond plot elements, in terms of knowledge, we also need to learn about the true history. And it seems almost, almost guaranteed that we will also at some point learn the truth of the God Valley incident, considering the amount of emphasis that is being repeatedly placed on this event, and the Rocks crew in general. So I will throw that in here as well. Beyond that, I think that pretty much everything else that has been set up in the story isn't necessary to complete One Piece. Hell, Kid and Law could never show up again, they could be deemed non-essential, and Oda could still wrap the rest of the story up. So looking at all these plot points to begin with, why are we at Egghead Island? Why was this detour necessary? 
Well, at first glance, Egghead Island doesn't seem that relevant to any of the essential plot points that I listed, but there is something I intentionally left out of the information category, which is that while we do need to learn about the true history of the world, and hopefully the history of the Rocks era of pirates, there was a whole other side of things that we also have to learn about, which is what the hell is going on in the world today? By that, I mean that for the longest time, there has been a web of mysteries that has been steadily getting more and more tangled surrounding Kuma, the revolutionaries, Vegapunk, Bonnie, and generally this whole secret war that has been happening between the dragon side and the world government side this entire time. And honestly, even internally with the hidden faction of S.W.O.R.D. within the world government that has its own motivations. Everything within that web of mysteries seems to actually be tied together here at Egghead Island. This is where Oda has kind of thrown together all the ingredients for answers. We have Bonnie, we have Vegapunk, we have Seraphim Kuma approaching, we even have S.W.O.R.D. members nearby who likely have knowledge of what's really going on inside the world government. This arc, Egghead Island, may be the one where we get to learn the truth about all of the modern day conflicts and motivations of competing factions in the One Piece world. The setup does seem remarkably similar to Zo, after all. This is an arc taking place after a major battle, so we are likely getting some breathing room. We have some approaching villain to add a bit of tension, but it's not exactly some overwhelming huge enemy force that's going to lead to a gigantic battle. And we seem to be in a perfect spot to get a huge exposition dump. But what's especially interesting is that if we look at the plot points that seem necessary, I think one particularly standout development that could also take place during the Egghead Island arc would be the world government showing its true cards. Recently, there was this discussion of the Great Cleansing, and now all of a sudden, the world government has begun taking very drastic, bold steps, erasing the Lucia Kingdom completely, and even deciding to kill off its most prized asset, Dr. Vegapunk. We are also situated right next to the good guy marines that we know, we are near Smoker and Tashigi and Kobe's gang. If there were ever a time that their eyes would be fully open to the evils of the world government, this could be the perfect arc for that to happen, where they seem set up to be main characters. Just a thought. Now, looking beyond Egghead Island, the Straw Hats have to get the fourth road poneglyph. They have to fight Blackbeard, they have to get to Laugh Tail, and get the One Piece. All of this seems fairly tied together. We all know that there will be a Laugh Tale arc, and there is at least one step before getting to Laugh Tale, which is getting the fourth road poneglyph. Now, I am going to be optimistic, and I am going to assume that we are going to get to go to Elbath before Laugh Tale. Many readers already view Elbath as a guarantee. I don't anymore, simply because of Oda's recent statements about streamlining the series towards the finish. And the fact that there is currently no single concrete plot point that we know of that is explicitly tied to Elbath. We know that it's extremely important for Usopp's character, considering Usopp has been talking about it since Little Garden, and then again it is highly relevant for him in Eni's lobby, and then again after Dressrosa he's still talking about it. However, that's just important for Usopp's character, not necessarily necessary for the plot. If we can get to the end of Wano with Zoro's past being repeatedly brought up, and then that still ultimately all gets chopped, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that Usopp never gets to see Elbaf in the main story. That being said, I want to have faith that something this important for his character will not be forgotten, and so looking at the list of necessary plot points remaining, there is at least one solid one that seems like it could fit in with Elbaf, which is getting the last road poneglyph. Maybe we could even get the reunion with Shanks here in Elbaf if Shanks is serious about going after the One Piece, then his path would naturally cross with Luffy's at Elbaf. Or maybe we get the Blackbeard confrontation here. I don't know, but if Egghead Island really is going to be, you know, a shorter, more exposition-based arc, then it feels a bit too soon for the Strahds to be able to immediately go to Laugh Tale right after that, which is why if any arc is going to slot in before Laugh Tale, it feels like Elbath is the best bet. And then finally, looking at Laugh Tale and Marijua, I think these two are fairly self-explanatory, but the order is what people may disagree on. For me, it is fairly simple. I personally subscribe to the destruction of the Red Line theory, the belief that the One Piece is in fact the union of all oceans, and the creation of a free open world formed through the destruction of the Red Line, which would mean that Marijua, as the center of the Red Line, is the natural endpoint of the story of One Piece, a theory that you can learn more about in this video. However, many believe that the One Piece is something more than that, which is fine. The reality is that either way, the setup of the story seems to point to a final war taking place 
after someone reaches Laugh Tale. The true conflict of the story is ultimately about rebellion against heaven, overthrowing the celestial dragon's reign. And that would mean that the Straw Hat's journey ultimately will bring them to Marijua for this final task. As far as we could tell, Laugh Tale was important to Roger for learning everything, learning the true history, learning about the Will of D, etc. That does not seem like a point where the story would conclude. Rather, that seems like the point where Roger finally learned what he has to do. This further points to the idea that Laugh Tale is the penultimate step, not the final step. Even if you believe that Blackbeard will be the final villain and not Im, that is still possible with the final arc and final conflict being at Marijua. You can spin it either way, two pirates battling it out at the center of a giant red X to determine who will fulfill the will of D works as a conclusion to the story, just as well as Luffy the Sun God overthrowing the evil Dark God and creating a new world of freedom as the conclusion of the story. Either possibility works, either villain works, it's just that everything narratively in terms of ordering points to the Straw Hats first fulfilling their adventure as pirates, reaching the final island, learning the true history, then knowing what they have to do before then taking up the role of actually freeing the world, something that can only be done afterwards at Marijua. As such, the final order of arcs that makes the most sense to me at the moment seems to be Egghead Island as a breather arc to start the final saga, where we get the vast majority of answers surrounding the conflict between the revolutionaries, the world government, and S.W.O.R.D., as well as possibly the big, large-scale reveal of the world government being evil. Elbaf is hopefully up next for the final Road Poneglyph, and once we get to the Laugh Tale arc, we will then know what the One Piece is. We should get the true history in Laugh Tale. Hopefully we reunite with Shanks in this arc or the previous Elbaf arc, and maybe a Blackbeard confrontation fits in here, or we get the Blackbeard confrontation saved for the final arc of Marijua. But it is at least very likely that the story will ultimately conclude with the Celestial Dragons being taken down in the Marijua arc with the world entering a new dawn, and the will of D being fulfilled. And lastly, I don't know where God Valley goes, but let me know where you think it could go in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then definitely like, comment, and subscribe. And you can become a member to support this video and to get my extended thoughts on this and all future topics.